Hello and welcome to the second video of this series. That will officially be the last time I count these videos. Matter of fact, I recorded this before and I'm re-recording it. So um, this I'm already done with most of the book already. So I'm just coming back. Um, so let's start off with uh, categorical and quantitative data and I'd like to talk about the five W's and most of the, most importantly the first two and if you watch the first video I kind of stopped in this what and the what is going to come from here so who what when where and why and they might not be in the same order that I did on the video and the how so the what is probably the most important and that is what we are recording and and there's there's two primary um, data sets that we could record so if I ask a question if I ask a question okay and and you answer you answer in categories okay so so then that would be a that would be a categorical data set so so for example I could say I could give you a question that could be yes or no okay so so you have a choice you're either going to pick this or you're going to pick this and if I ask a hundred people um, I'm gonna have so many of them say yes and so many of them say no and that would be my that would be my data my data would how many said yes and how many said no I could ask this class what grade are you in okay so what grade are you in and then we could do it by, and these could be your categories. Are you a freshman, sophomore, junior, or are you a senior? Okay. So, um, as you can see, we're going to tally. We're going to tally counts. Okay. And if that happens, we have cate categorical data. Okay, another way to look at this are there are no units. There are no units in categorical data. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea. Um, there could be many different ways you could ask. Okay, all right, so let's go to quantitative data. So quantitative data is data let me write it like this. This is measurable data. Okay. Data with units. In general, numbered data. Numbered data. I'm giving you all characteristics of these. Okay. Um, if you get a data set, if we can obtain an average, if we can obtain an average, okay, that would be quantitative data. It's measurable, okay? So if I ask this whole class, um, if I ask every individual person, how tall are you? How tall are you? And, and everybody in the class would list their height. That would be quantitative data. I could say, what's your GPA? What's your GPA? Okay. I could say, that would be another one. I could say, how far, how far do you live from school? Okay. So how tall are you? This could either be in feet or inches. And you can see these are all um, 
um, with your GPA. Um, I don't know what you call that, but it's a, it's just a sliding scale. Okay, how far do you live from school? So this could be probably in miles. As you can see, uh, these all have units to it. Okay, so anytime you get a data set that's measurable, okay, what did you score on that exam? How tall are you? What's the temperature? Say I recorded the temperature every day for a year. Okay, that's quantitative. Okay, and one thing you have to be careful of, of these things called um, identifiers. Identifiers, okay, and I think sometimes they call these ordinal. So what these are, or see how I said in general? See, sometimes it doesn't work. In general means most of the time. So let's, let's I'm going to give you one, and you tell me. Let's say I asked you for the last four of your Social Security number, or asked you for your school ID number, or I asked you for your zip code. Okay, so ask yourself, these are just a few examples. Is there anything you could measure? The last four years social security number. Okay. So so these are numbers, but these these fall into categories. So they're categorical. Okay. So so there are some there's some uh data sets which um are listed in numbers but they're not anything you can measure up. Um, and like I said before, is I take this idea, whenever I see a data set, I take this idea of can, can you measure the center? Measure the center, okay, with a mean. The mean's just an average, okay? Let me stop writing sideways. Okay, so I have this idea of an average. Okay? That's something we could measure. Alright, so that's the difference between categorical and quantitative. You'll see many examples and um, I'll be asking you many examples and you'll get the answer. So, um, thanks for watching the second video. Have a nice day.